Welcome to DBL. We have a very special guest joining our panel today. She's here to tell us what we can learn from the Golden Bachelor divorce and dating after 50. Please welcome dating expert and confidence coach Kimmy Seltzer. You look beautiful, Thank love the purple. You. Okay, so Kimmy, let's get to the dating drama. Yep. More than oh, five yeah. million people this tuned in to, the, to watch the wedding life. of it's Golden Bachelors, Gary life. and Teresa. But three months later, I we talked about it here on the show, they were divorced. So we definitely have some questions for you. Jeff, I know you want to kick it off. I want to jump right in. So Gary and Teresa, they didn't make it, unfortunately. Yes. But a lot of people, you know, over the age of 50, just older folks, I'm right there as well. We're a little let down. So does that mean you can't find love after 50? Are you kind of stuck in your ways? You, it's never too late to find love. I mean, I actually flirted with an 85 year old woman to help her pick up a guy at a bar and she did it. Yeah. 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 yeah, and you know, what I think the show did is it inspired so much hope in people. And there were a lot of people who had given up on love. And so while their hopes and dreams were shattered in that instant, what prevailed was a sense of sex confidence that came out of it and that to me is what the show was about the transformation that transpired with all of those women especially and the camaraderie and feeling alive again so there's a lot of things that can happen and actually there's a lot of benefits to dating after 50 one is that you know yourself yeah. a lot better and hopefully there's some financial stability where you have the resources to go do things but there's also some challenges that you have to really navigate when it comes to dating after 50. So let me ask you this. The main reason, and we were all so bummed with Gary and Teresa, was they said that the, they had to move and they didn't want to move. Yeah. So let me ask you this. They, is there an age limit when it comes to moving for love? Or is that always like romantic? Or have you like become, you know, Planted. Stop, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I love your look. Um, look, age is not really the issue. But what I will say is that there is a difference. Like when you're in your 20s, obviously, you don't have a lot of the busyness going on. You don't have you maybe the grandkids yet and all the things to navigate, and you're not set in your ways, so you're more mendable and flexible, whereas later in life, it's not the case, you know, you're a little set in your ways and you have to really take a look at what's gonna be right for you at this point in your life. So it's not really the age thing, but what it comes down to is good communication, pacing, slowing down, and really getting to know one another before you get married. So I, I had that conversation with my mom, my mother found incredible love late so into happy. her life. Shout out to and, but Montez. I had to, Mon Montez. 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 Yes. <laughs> but I had to, like, we had a very serious mother-son conversation where I was just like, you've put in your time. Then it was not a fun conversation. I was like, you're going to go to South Carolina and marry this man and enjoy your life. Spend, you've enough Cleveland winners, all the, like, you raised your kids. And, but it took that because there's, so, like you said, there's so much, you're so entrenched of, like, always taking care of people. It's like, it's your time to be in love. Well, your mom was hesitant. So, yes, and I know absolutely. a lot of people are. So what type, how do women get confidence to go and date again, especially after a long standing relationship? Yeah, and you know, I think if you're dating after after 40 even, let's say, you know, before that, your mindset is around finding someone to settle down with and build a life with. Well, that's not the case later in right. life. And so a lot of people get mm. out there with the mindset of finding the soulmate and dating as a relationship person. But the truth is they need to just get their sexy confidence back and learn how to date, period. Get their sexy yeah. back. Yeah, that's and so I have this formula, I call it the five Fs. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, well. That we can mention on the show. <laughs> <laughs> the first F is paying attention to fashion. So okay. fashion is super important. Um, I'm an image consultant as well as a therapist, and I have this whole outside-in approach in helping people look and feel their best so they attract what they want. And it's getting true. a good dating costume is so important. Because hmm. when you feel good, you have a different energy, and you send body signals out to the world that I am sexy and I'm confident. That's great. The second is flirting. This could be a whole segment in itself. Um, I love love flirting and for me it's flirt and have fun with everyone. Oh. I think a lot of people get too target specific and who they'll turn it on to and who they'll turn it off to but if you look at the definition of flirting in the dictionary it's fascinating. It's to behave as though you are attracted to someone without the serious intention of an outcome. But that last part is what trips everyone up because right. everyone's getting in their head and worried about what's next but it's really just a playful energy that draws I love people that. to you. Mm. You know, 
don't say you don't say Kim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it was just an example. It was just an example. <laughs> I was going with that. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, and the third F is femininity. Now, this is also a big word today. You know, with so many women in the workforce, we're doing a zillion things. We are taking care of everybody. We have a state of independence about us. But with that comes a lot of masculine energy. And so when I talk about femininity, I talk about it being not like dumbing down or being something that you're not but it's a slowing down, going with the flow, and also receiving. Women have such a hard time receiving, and when you don't like show up and express your needs and wants, often you attract lopsided relationships oh, too. So there's a whole formula there. Yeah, and the fourth F, and you would think that this is so like grammar school, but having fun. like. No one's having fun anymore. I and totally agree. Yes. Right. And in a state where if you've been in a long term relationship, there has been trauma, there has been grief. Mm. There's a very serious time that you're coming out of. And so to instill that sense of fun and playfulness and just being goofy and silly, it's like going back to being a kid. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's so attractive. It is. Yeah. Right? I live it my just, life. It feels like everyone's <laughs> identity is wrapped around some sort of trauma that they put yes. on themselves, right? And they're not allowed to have fun anymore. Mm -hmm. And that identity they carry with them and then be they become in, like the victim mentality yeah. and they mm. almost get used to that. Yes. You right? two should be this, the same person here. <laughs> really? Yeah, very mm -hmm. similar. Or maybe we're just both really smart. <laughs> <laughs> no. That can't be it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, nobody was buying that one. <laughs> well, I, you know, it, we're trying you're to fill dead air here. I, <laughs> I didn't know. I thought you. I thought well, there was one more point. Thank you. Give me. I am sorry. Yeah, Go ahead. Okay. Sorry. Five. <laughs> five. The five F's is um, the fifth F is friendship. Yeah. Friendship is so important, especially if you're single looking to mingle and you've been married for a long time. A lot of your friends are like couples and as nice as the married folk are, sorry if you're married, you're nice, but you don't get it. You know, you're not in the energy that you need to go out and flirt and, ha and have fun and combat the loneliness. I am so determined to like build community with all the programs that I do. I actually have a retreat coming up called Spark Your Sexy. Cute. And I'm teaching these five Fs with a group of women. And I still have spots, by the way, if anyone's interested. That's awesome. But this is something that I'm just really passionate about and so that people don't feel alone because that's why people don't go out. And you have to be intentional when mm. you go out. Mm. Good point. Definitely. Sorry, we... <laughs> it's all right. We you don't have time for your question. <laughs> <laughs> after, after you yelled at me, I was like listening, and Sam goes, "Talk, <laughs> <laughs> buddy." That's my mom. <laughs> Thanks for the role. Kimmy, that was yeah. great. Kimmy, you fit right in. Yes. Yeah. Really cool. That's why you fit you right do. in. Thank you, really you for do. joining us. Thank great you. information, DBL Nation. Was great. For more info <laughs> on how to build confidence and get your sexy back, scan the QR code on your screen. Congratulations. Thank you again. Thanks. Thank you for having me.